practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Army. Get Fisk Unit tough. You understand me? Hit the damn sub button. Hit that damn bell button. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Hit every single one of them YouTube buttons. Get on this bandwagon. You understand? That being said, thank God the Giants didn't draft Troy Ave. I mean, for real, yo, thank God we did not draft Troy Ave. For those of y'all who don't remember who Troy Ave is, I'm not talking about the rapper. I'm talking about Dwayne Haskins. Now, this dude is a bona fide scrub. To quote my man Stephen A. Talking about that fraud Kwame Brown. My man is a bona fide scrub. Okay? Now, I was told two years ago, three years ago, whatever. I was told that he was better than Daniel Jones. I was told that he had more touchdowns in one season at Ohio State than Danny did in like three seasons at Duke. I was told that the Giants were idiots for passing on Dwayne Haskins, uh, ESPN, Stephen A. Smith, and Max Kellerman was talking greasy, should have took Haskins, he threw 50 touchdowns, duh, 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 duh. okay? All you idiotic cockroach fans and you cockroach content creators, you know who y'all are, I ain't got to say y'all names, you know what I'm saying, you cockroach content creators came on my platform and invited me onto your platform to defend this bozo. Y'all told me that Troy Ave was going to have a good 2020 because he had a good quarter versus the Giants. Remember that quarter before he got hurt? Remember the game Daniel Jones threw five touchdowns? Remember that game where Daniel Jones threw them five touchdowns? That was a game Haskins got hurt in. He had like two touchdowns, like a quarter and a half or something. And all these cockroach fans and these cockroach content creators had the balls to come out here and tell me that he was going to be better than Daniel Jones. Soon as he got a better coaching staff that actually wanted him, he was going to perform better. Well, I got news for you. You were wrong. You were wrong. Can't get no wronger. That clown couldn't even finish the season in Washington. He got cut. He's now in Pittsburgh, backing up Big Ben and Mason Rudolph. And now, he getting beat up by his wife? You don't even wear the pants in your own household? Are you a beta? Are you a cuck? You getting pent by your own wife? Your own wife knocked your teeth out? Come on, bro. <laughs> Did you back talk her? <laughs> hey, yo, maybe Haskins, maybe he ain't take out the trash. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe he ain't want to get off the call of duty and take out the trash and wifey wasn't having that. <laughs> but baby, I'm leading the team in kills. Nigga, I don't care. Waka. Oh, you hit me, baby. Waka. Oh, you not my tooth out. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. You can take my credit card. <laughs> Nigga, I got your damn credit card. You don't own shit in my house. Get the fuck out. That's probably how it happened. He probably got punched in the mouth and kicked out of his own damn house. Haskins, you going out sad, bro. I mean, this is this is all the way bad. <laughs> this is all the way I'm taking my victory lap I'm taking my victory lap You know what I'm saying Because I was I was mocked was ridiculed was laughed at You know what I'm saying Defending Daniel Jones Is not easy Saying Daniel Jones is a better pick Than Troy Ave Is not as easy as I make it look 
okay? People sat there and tried to tell me that Haskins is this and Haskins is that. He came from Ohio State. Guess what? You know who one of the best quarterbacks on the planet is right now? That guy in uh, Buffalo. He didn't come from some top-notch program. You know who else did pretty damn good in this league, even though he's in Indianapolis right now? Carson Wentz. He didn't come from some top-notch program. Trey Lance didn't come from no top-notch program. Zach Wilson didn't come from no top-notch program. You mean Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence did, but these other dudes didn't. So it doesn't matter. And they got taken in the top 10. So it doesn't. So just because somebody like a Haskins comes from Ohio State does not make him automatically better than Daniel Jones because Daniel Jones went to Duke. You feel me? I don't understand this shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Lamar Jackson played for what Louisville or some shit like that. He better than Baker. Baker went number one. Better than Darnold. Darnold went to USC. The two best quarterbacks out that draft were from the worst schools. Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen. Where did Josh Rosen go? UCLA. Darnold, USC. Baker was at uh, Oklahoma. So don't sit here and tell me because one guy went to some powerhouse is better than the other guy. You know what Daniel Jones has? Something called intangibles. Something called a work ethic. I told Cockroach fans two years ago that this dude felt entitled and didn't want to work hard. He was pouting in practice. He had a fit when he had to earn that spot from Case Keenum. When they named Case Keenum the starter, he had a fit. When Jay Gruden said Case Keenum is our starter unless Dwayne Haskins proves us otherwise, he had a fit. He showed up to training camp. He didn't want to work. He didn't want to compete. He thought he was entitled to something. I don't understand this shit. The guy in the middle of a pandemic is out there at strip clubs on Instagram, making the rain on IG. Paul Pierce ass nigga and this is who y'all laughed at the Giants for passing on this is who you mock Dave Gettleman for passing on <sighs> I mean you can't make this shit up could you imagine if we had drafted this bozo and had the freaking DeAndre Baker situation oh we'd have been a laughing stop between DeAndre Baker and Dwayne Hell, they probably would have been in the strict club together. If DeAndre ba if Haskins is on the team with DeAndre Baker, he might have been, he may have been at the robbery spot with him. I don't know. But the point I'm trying to make is Giants fans, be happy. We have Daniel Jones. Hardest worker player on the team. Daniel Jones is like the LeBron James of basketball. Every time you see him, he he got a new workout video out. Every time I see Daniel Jones, he's working out somewhere with the team. Tough as nails. And y'all wanted us to take the Wayne Haskin, aka Troy Ann. What are the odds he makes the team in Pittsburgh? Are we sure he's gonna make the team in Pittsburgh? We sure? Are we sure? I ain't got nothing else to say though. That's it, that's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.